Hello everyone! I used to sleep in all the time and I also used to not exercise. This was college Maya who loved to sleep all day long and didn't know what my body really needed. Fast forward to who I am today and working out in the morning is one of my favorite things to do. Of course, it took a few steps for me to get here, so here is how to wake up easily to work out. As a society, we tend to sit a lot throughout the day, and I hope this video convinces you to wake up earlier, maybe even wake up at 5am, and get your body moving. One big step when it comes to being a morning person and working out is preparation. When I have an early morning, I like to prepare my lunch for the next day, the night before. Tomorrow, I am going to have some Korean dumplings. Then I'm going to have a donut peach as my snack. Once the dumplings are all cooked, I flip them one time and then they are ready to be packed away. If I also have some extra time, then I'll make my smoothie the night before as well. So I add some almond milk, I add some frozen strawberries, and then I'm going to add some chocolate protein powder. Definitely one of my favorite go-tos and it's very simple. The trick is to blend it all up and then put it in an insulated water bottle and then you'll put it in the fridge. That way it stays nice and fresh. Next, I pack my gym bag or a separate bag where I put all of my clothes. This is my work clothes that goes into the bag so that when I shower at the gym, I can then change into fresh clothes and be ready for my work day. Prepping the night before ensures that I don't have a stressful morning and I have a nice calm morning routine. My tiny little bun. <laughs> it is 9 o'clock and it's time for me to go to sleep. <sighs> I'm actually quite tired. I went to work at 7.50 in the morning and then I finished at 5.30 p.m. I drove an hour in traffic to go visit my friend, had dinner with her, and just got home after hanging out. So I've been out for 12 hours. Quite tired. I forgot before I sleep. I need to set my alarms. Okay, Google, set alarm for 5.15 a.m. If you have a Google Home, then I hope that yours was set too. <laughs> okay, good night. I have to take off my makeup. Well of course, I take my favorite cleansing balm, the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm, and I rub it all over my face very gently and remove all of my makeup so that I am ready for a good night's sleep. I blurred out my calendar for privacy reasons, but all of the things that you see in yellow are actually my planned workouts. I find that when I plan a month ahead, then I am more likely to go to my workouts because I don't rely on feeling like it. Then the downtime on my phone reminds me it is time to go to sleep and not scroll through my phone. It is 5.22 in the morning and this was the time I was comfortable rolling out of bed. And lately I've been listening to worship songs in the bathroom while I brush my teeth. Okay Google, what's the weather outside? Today it will be sunny, forecasted high of 89 and a low of 55. 89. On my Instagram, you will find a more detailed look into my life as I post reels and stories and posts about my 5 a.m. morning routines or how I spend my time at the gym. So I hope that you'll follow along. But I love going to workouts that have really nice amenities because then it makes it easy for me to go straight to work right after. Good morning, everyone. So I wanted to give you a little story time and I hope that during this story time, it convinces you to wake up early and to start moving your body. So in college, I was not a person who works out. I would attempt to go to the gym. I would literally sit in the stationary bike and this would be me. I would just be pedaling my feet and on my phone. I would try to stay for 30 minutes, maybe a little longer, but otherwise I wasn't really actively, intentionally moving my body. I was always tired. I felt really bloated. I felt really sluggish and I didn't know why. Fast forward to after college, I found a few workouts that worked for me. So here are the things that I do to find the workouts that I love. The first thing I do is I use ClassPass. So ClassPass has memberships and I have the $49 a month for 27 credits. So every month they give me 27 credits and I get to choose which workouts I want to do with those credits. Some classes are worth more than others and you can plan out what you want to do. This is a great way to try different workouts without having to pay a lot more. Another workout that I love to do and you've seen it on my videos is Barry's 
boot camp. So Barry's boot camp is basically 25 minutes of running, 25 minutes of lifting weights, and the instructor has already planned out the entire workout for you, and they're just calling out what you need to do, when you need to change, and what you need to grab. I always told myself I was not a runner, but I was not a runner because I never really practiced. I never really trained for it. So after consistently going, I have seen my body change in so many ways. I do plan all of my workouts, and when I sign up for these classes, if I cancel last minute, I get charged or I lose money on my class. So it really holds me accountable. I used to work out after work. So I would go to the gym or I would go to these classes after work. I was not a morning person. Four years ago, I went to one 6 a.m. class and I came out of that saying, I will never do that again. What's really important is being consistent and I realized that going in the morning helps me put aside any excuses because it's the first thing I'm going to when I wake up and then I do my work throughout the day and I come home and I get to rest. I get such good sleep at night because I wake up really early and I exert so much energy that uh, by the time my head hits the pillow, I am tired. But if I work out after work, I tend to feel a little adrenaline rush and I feel a little more excited, so it's hard for me to sleep. Everyone should be moving their bodies. And if you can't make it to a workout class, what you can do is watch videos and do workouts in your room. But finding a space to yourself can be a little difficult, but even if that means going out into the sidewalk, get your body moving. Some things that you can do are these videos over here. You can also jump rope, just a single jump rope doesn't need that much space. And then I'll also include some moves that you can do that doesn't take up a lot of space. But I just think it's so important for everybody to be moving their bodies as often as possible. Something else that really helps is working out with other people. So usually I schedule with my friends and I'll meet them there. Things like that and building community helps you realize, ha, huh, I have all these people who wanna move their body with me. And lastly, what you need when you wanna wake up early in the morning and establish good morning habits is discipline and purpose. You need to have purpose as to why you're waking up early, what do you wanna accomplish? And then discipline is when you don't feel like it, you do it anyway and you tell yourself, I told myself I was going to do this, I am going to be reliable and do it. And my last point, despite all of this, I definitely fall on the side of being very, very productive and doing a bunch of things, but sometimes it's okay to rest. So on the days that I don't work out, I don't mind not setting an alarm and just having my body naturally wake up and get some rest. Normally that is around 6.30 or 7.00. So I hope that is helpful for you and it motivates you to wake up earlier in the morning, whether it's 4 a.m., 5 a.m., or maybe early for you is 8 a.m. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye!